I never intended to write for children. I thought I'd write for adults, and, um, which I did for some years. And then I just found myself writing a book called Skellig, which turned out to be a writer for children. I think when I was writing um, The Boy Who Swam the Piranhas, I was certainly influenced by Roald Dahl, you know. Other writers who influenced, gosh, so many, lots of American writers, short story writers. I deliberately named one of the characters Dostoevsky because I love Dostoevsky as a novelist and it was great to have a character who works in a fairground called Dostoevsky. Stanley Potts is the main character. He's the hero of um, the new book, The Boy Who Swam the Piranhas. And he's just an ordinary kid who, um, through family circumstance, is pushed into taking huge risks. So he's forced to run away from home because his home has turned into a factory for canning fish. He runs off with a, um, a fair and he eventually finds himself challenged to dive into a tank filled with piranhas. And he stands at the side of the tank and says, do I dare to do it? And he does. I enjoyed writing this book a lot. It was a very I felt like it was really drawing on things inside me which I hadn't used before. I think, you know, in many ways all of the heroes, the narrators of my books are kind of joined together. And when I was writing Stan, he did feel a bit like Mina. I think because of his courage, you know, his determination to become himself, to, to kind of transform his life by his own actions. So he felt very like Mina in that sense to me. He also feels a bit like Michael because... Um, Michael encounters this strange creature, this strange being called Skellig. And uh, of course, Stanley is drawn to meet this strange being called Pancho Pirelli. And Pancho is the one who says, Stanley, you must go swimming with piranhas. <laughs> I write in a library in Newcastle, which is my nearest city. And I sit on a big table with lots of other people on the table, and um, they're all working as well. I really like that. I like that sense of companionship when I'm writing. The thing I love most about being a writer is just the way the imagination works when you've got a pen in your hand. And I love to see stories taking shape on the page. My ideas come from all over the place. Like thinking about Stanley and the, the piranhas, I actually saw a man in a circus swimming with piranhas. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, I've got to write a book about someone who swims with piranhas. I read a lot um, and I think it's important to keep on reading and to kind of read very widely and I think that's really important so you, you're influenced by all kinds of different writers. I rewrite constantly so even when I'm working on the computer screen I'm constantly changing, moving back and forwards and then I went get to the end I go back again and do lots of changes so my rewriting is constant. A book is finished when you think oh there's kind of nothing else I can do. My advice to my younger self would be, just keep going. Don't take any notice of the people who say you can't do it. And don't take any notice of that teacher, who I won't name. <laughs> what I hope with a, writer, a character like Mina or a character like Stan is that those characters will inspire the readers to kind of look at life a bit more closely, be more courageous, um, and kind of experience how fantastic it is to be young and to be human. <laughs>